Diane Mahoney has loved music for as long as she could remember and learned to play both the piano and the organ at a young age. For most of her life, she composed music for children and adult choirs, serving as liturgist, music director and choir director at various places. Now, besides occasionally composing music, what she enjoys most is playing the organ at her parish in Burlington, Iowa. The words and, and the music come alive and are prayer for me and you're, you hope that that's a gift for everybody else. So when Mahoney was notified that her original composition, We Do Believe, O Lord, had been selected as the 2024 National Eucharistic Congress's official theme song, she couldn't believe it. She had to reread the email that said, Your piece has been chosen and <laughs> I started screaming. I scared my granddaughter and I ran down the stairs with her and got my husband because I wanted him to read it to make sure that this was real. It was music to her ears. Mahoney admitted that this particular song stemmed from an unfinished piece she started creating years ago. After reading an article in her parish's newspaper about the music competition, she felt a nudge from the Holy Spirit. I'm this humble little person and God raised this song up, I mean, from me. I had started this piece literally before COVID, so that's, you know, been a few years ago, and um, I just couldn't quite get the refrain worked out. Um, and I, I went back and forth. I really wanted to use the text. It's from the Gospel of Mark. Inspired by the words of the distraught father from Mark's Gospel, she used a plural version of his confession of faith, help our unbelief. I do believe, I do believe, help my unbelief. And I, I just think it's so human, the response, you know, and, and I think um, no one is probably different from me in that I, I have felt that many times. It's like, I think I believe, but <laughs> would you help me to really believe, you know? And, and of course he does, you know? God will strengthen us. Making sure to hit the right note, Mahoney also added in the refrain, what Catholics behold in the Eucharist, the Holy Body of Christ and the Sacred Blood of Christ. Lastly, after all the bells and whistles, she felt inspired to superimpose the chant tune Adoro Te Devote over the melody of the refrain. So that wonderful tune, doo -doo 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 -dee -da -da -dee -da -da. it just so happened, coincidentally, that that tune fit over the refrain. Out of a total of 363 submissions for the musical competition, it was Mahoney's song that struck a chord with the judges. One of the judges was Jennifer Donaldson Novitska, associate professor and the director of sacred music at St. Patrick's Seminary in Menlo Park, California. We wanted a, a, a text that was not only um, faithful in in subtle ways to the, the the church's teachings but faithful in in all the ways that we could think of you know that that really expressed aspects of the real presence of christ in the eucharist the music has to be a holy sounding it has to sound prayerful it has to sound transcendent and it has to um have uh, real beauty donaldson Navitska especially loved mahoney's refrain I, I thought that uh, the the refrain was really um, helpful in in helping focus the, what the Christian can say throughout their life about the Eucharist, which is, Lord, I do believe. Help my unbelief. You know, because no matter how much we know about the theology of the Eucharist or how much we receive the Eucharist or go to Mass, there's always more because God is so much bigger than we are, and that refrain really captured that. Let's take a listen. The choir of St. John the Baptist Church singing the National Eucharistic Congress's official theme song, We Do Believe, O Lord.
Corsic Revival's theme song, We Do Believe, O Lord, and the chosen official hymn, Let the Earth Acclaim Christ Jesus by Kathleen Pluth, will be used in liturgies and events leading up to the upcoming National Eucharistic Congress, where it will be sung by thousands. I long to hear them sing it, and then, obviously, we all want the song and, and the experience of singing to bring us closer to Jesus and closer to what the sacrament is. And God's work will continue through it, I pray. Rosal Rages, EWTN News in Depth. You can hear the entire song at our social media handle, EWTN News in Depth, on Facebook, X, and Instagram. Be sure to like and follow.